uh, our second speaker is Dr. Sonardo. He is a lecturer of musicology and philosophy at the Department of S1 Music Education and Department of Arts Education at the Universidad Negrin Semarang. He is a holder of a doctorate in philosophy and has written for journals and authored books on musicology and aesthetics. He will be talking about the matcha pot in the tradition of Central Java society. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce myself. My name is Sunarto. I am lecturer at the Department of Music Education Faculty of Language and Arts, Semarang State University, UNES. On this good opportunity, I would like to present an article entitled Mojopat in the Tradition of the People of Central Java. Mojopat is a musical tradition in Javanese society. In the context of this article, what is meant by Java is a cultural area, especially Yogyakarta and its surroundings, including the Surakarta area. There are several definitions of the word mochopat. First, mocho in Javanese means to read, and papat means reading which is connected with each of the four syllables of the article for guru bilangan. Second, the word pat refers to a number of diacritical signs or is revered in Javanese script. Third, in the context of Javanese cosmology, Mochapat means to read the four elements of nature, wind, fire, water, and earth, or the four directions of the wind, east, south, west, and north. Mochapat is the art of singing or reciting poetry from a Javan song. Mochapat is usually performed by one person or a group of people and can be performed with or without accompaniment, which is usually gamelan. Mochopat is always present in Javanese performing arts, as in shadow puppet, human wayang, katoprak. The two great kingdoms of Java, Yogyakarta and Surakarta, made Mochopat a great art beside gamelan. The history of Mochopat the period of revival of classical Javanese literature in Central Java took place between the years 1700 to 1900 AD. And for the Javanese community, due to the strong influence of oral tradition, India is a land where oral tradition is paramount. All Hindu rituals are based on the belief that the prayers over it are very influential and efficacious and literature must go hand in hand with music, dance, and theater. In the second half of the 18th century towards the 19th century, art and literature developed in Surakarta and Yogyakarta differently from one another. Japanese traditional music is closely related to dance, theater, literature, customs, beliefs, and traditions all of which are expressions of the character of Javanese society. In all aspects in India, the lyrics of a musical composition are not closely related. Messages are important because they are interpreted through gestures. The interpretation of gestures in pre-Islamic times, Hindu Javanese dances are likely to continue to this day, which is can be seen in Balinese dance. After the separation of the Mataram Kingdom dynasty into two smaller kingdoms, namely Surakarta Kasunanan and Yogyakarta Kasultanan, in 1756, Surakarta enjoyed a long period of peace. Undisturbed by war, this is what makes the development of Javanese arts. On the other hand, Yogyakarta's political history records the disturbances caused by two wars. First, during the transitional period done by British from 1811 to 1814, 
and second, the result of the Diponegor War against the Dutch from 1825 to 1830. However, Yogyakarta has strength in its identity in Javanese art. Before the emergence of gamelan in the Javanese tradition, vocal music should have existed. Mochaban, which in the American British song or phonetic spelling is considered a song poem, which is the oldest element and it starts before the arrival of Hinduism. According to Dutch music experts, Brent Spice, Kunst, if the tone in Mochopat is not influenced by modern Western music, it will be different in detail from the scales of Western instruments, which use diatonic, major and minor, whereas Mochopat uses pentatonic, slandra and palak. The tone in Mochopat may sound very ancient and exotic. It seems very likely that the scale of the ancient song of Mochopat is closely related to the children's play songs. In the pre-World War II period in Java, although Mochopat could be enjoyed as traditional music, it was solely associated with a kind of community worship of ancestral spirits. Siegfried Nadel has introduced a theory that music in the past emerged from the desire of primitive people to have a different language in order to communicate with supernatural beings. Songs is sorry. Songs of Mochopat are always sung at 9 p.m. until late or even until the next morning in some rituals. It is very likely that the timing is related to the belief in the shadows as a soul of the dead. Song of Mochopat, before referring to East Javanese song such as Kakawin, Sekarkawi, or Sekar Ageng, they are sacred. The songs are from the great Sanskrit literature. Unlike Mochopat, Sanskrit songs are patentless and must be learned with extraordinary obedience and diligence to the teacher, usually in the palace in Kraton. Formally, these songs are related to the microscopic melodies and lyric patterns of Indian songs. Since the Islamic era in Java, Sanskrit songs were only known among the court and functioned more as an oral tradition among the Javanese general public, especially Yogyakarta. However, after the palace tradition in East Java began to replace literature Sanskrit due to the religious political aura around the palace, songs of Machopat are only popular among the general public. But since the start of Islamic period in Java, the Machopat rhythm has begun to be popularized again. Mochopa rhythm has 15 titles, is considered to be a composite of the poetic forms shared by a large amount of Javanese native poets, which for a long time remained formless and unstructured. When the Hindu community first came to Java, Mochopat as a tradition was strengthened by the Arab arrival of the Indians. The Indian people have a strong tradition of poetry. Indian society is very fond of reciting poems. Today, in some parts of India, there are many poetry parties where many poets meet and gather to read their poems before performing them to an enthusiastic audience. As a term, Mochopat is associated with the indigenous Javanese principle of the unity of the four or five villages at different points when a new village is to be established. The four or five patterns in Javanese society have been used in wayang, mysticism, government, law, literature, and so on. The requirement that each line at least consists of four syllables, mochopat literally means read in four units, and the idea of gatra or kotro, which means a form consisting of four beats as the smallest unit in the game of gending. One of the gamelan compositions shows the possibility of mixing between traditional Javanese music and religion, religious thing. 
The idea of the unification of two mutually influential and balanced elements as seen in the evolutionary process of the establishment of the compositions of Balog and Slendro are also recommended to think about other possible makes of ancient Chinese philosophy, yin-yang, which is not mathematical. As a form, a mochopat rhythm has a number of certain rows, with the number of syllables in each line. Determining the choice of vowels will end the line, and this is associated with the mental state in the past addressed to the ancestors. The fact that mochopat is general term for rhythm in Japanese verse, and the whole mu musical framework relates to the feelings which give the possibility of a metamorphosis. The closing. Mochopat as a vocal music has also been introduced. Mochopat is based on Sanskrit, has been thought in early development of a great tradition of Javanese artistic performance. Mochopat is sung in poetry. The Mochopat poetically sung is said to be pre-Hindu origin as a folk tradition that may have existed in rural communities in the Kalinga Kingdom and had some relation to the idea of four clumped beats. In Mochopat, there is a cultural hybridization that refers to a number of cultural responses ranging from separation and hybrid blurring cultural boundaries. The first hybridization there is the influence of shamanism, the belief that music is a mean of heaven and earth. The essence of shamanic music is sound magic. The second hybridization, there is the existence of Hinduism as a syncretic religion, has accommodated the idea of sound magic in the island regions that have embraced Hinduism. If music theory in the Hindu tradition had been introduced as a part of the first level of the Javanese Hindu court tradition, vocal music, including Mochopat, must have been introduced as well. Vocal music, which is based on Sanskrit, has been thought in early development of a great tradition of Javanese artistic performance. At present, Mochopat, especially in Indonesia, has been disappeared without trace. Another interesting thing is that children's play song, Tembang Dolanan, are now also disappeared, mainly due to the results of the government's education policy, which is not different from colonial era, which slowly began to eliminate Mochopat in the world of education. There are several activities of Mochopat, although they seem to be suspended first, activities of Mochopat at the palace, Kraton. Second, Mochopat at Taman Siswa School. And third, the Mochopat Sekarturi Group, Bangun Kerto Village, Turi District, Sleman Regency, Yogyakarta, Marjuki as the coordinator. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your attention. Have a good day.